Hi everybody, I'm actually going to do this homework problem with you, um, so um, so you can just lay, don't have to do it twice obviously, just do it in the video. Um, so circumference equals 2 pi r, circumference is 176 meters and take pi to be 22 over 7. What's going on? Here's what's going on. If you have any circle, there is a interesting ratio. So here's a circle, let's draw a circle, here's the center, Okay, I want you to draw a circle, put it in the center, now um, draw a line right through like that. So this distance is called the diameter, half of this distance is called the radius. Okay, So the radius goes from the center to the outside, the diameter is the full way across. Now for any circle, the distance all the way around is this is called a circumference. Now this circumference is pi times more than whatever the diameter is. So if I said that this diameter is um, one inch, let's say, then and if I put string um, on around this circle, let me get some string. Okay. So if I put string around the circle okay perfectly on top like that so it's about that length on the string and if I if I if I straighten out the string now like that see that I'm straightening it out and the string goes from like here um, oh sorry the string goes from sorry whoa from here to um, here if that was one inch, then this length of this string would be pi inches. Okay, this is pi inches, which is approximately three point one four, or approximately twenty two over seven. But three point one four is the most common approximation for pi. Okay, but like we're not using calculators in this class, but on a calculator. It's just uh, here's pi. It's actually 3.14159265.4, and it goes on and on and on and on and on and on, on forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Okay, it's an irrational number that goes on and on and on, but it can be approximated by 3.14 or 22 over 7. So um, if you had a circle and the inside was um, say um, um, 0 0.1 um, inches then the distance all the way around the outside would be 3.14 times that so the circumference would be approximately 3.14 times 0 0.1 so that would be um, 0 0.314 inches okay so if I have a diameter of 0 0.1 one inches I'll end up with a circumference of 0 0.314 inches so it's it's 3.14 times that or if I have a circle and its um, diameter is you do this one a circle whose diameter is two meters what's the circumference what's the distance all the way around this circle tell me so it's three point it's what is it so if the diameter is 2, the circumference is approximately 3.14 times 2, or 6.28. Okay, so if its diameter is 2 meters, circumference 6.28 meters. Okay, and so the diameter, of course, is 2 times the radius. Because the radius is just the distance from the center of the circle to the outside. That's the radius r. So diameter, or d, is 2r. Right? Diameter is 2r. And so circumference is pi times, um, sorry, diameter. So, you know, circumference is pi times twice the radius. Because twice radius is the diameter. So that's where we get this formula. C equals 2 pi r. Okay, so let's try and explain the thing. But then, so I'll go back to the question then. It said circumference is 176. 
pi is 22 over 7 and we just have to solve for r, right? So we're going to plug 176 in for c, 176 equals 2 times pi, which is 22 over 7, times r. Okay? So we have to solve for r. Well, you probably want to multiply this through. I don't blame you. 2 over 1 times that will give us 44 over 7 times r. I'm going to leave a little bit of space, so that's 1, 7, 6. Okay? I'm going to... To get r on its own, I actually have to turn that 44 over 7 r into 1 times r. How would I turn 44 over 7 into 1? What could I do? What could we do to that? You could multiply it by 7 over 44, right? But if I do that on the and that will turn see, see the sevens cross cancel, the 44s cross cancel, and you're left with 1r, right? But if you do that to the right, you must do also do it to the left, okay? So we must multiply the left side by also by 7 over 44, right? And you can put your 176 as 176 over 1. Now you can multiply that through and then divide with long division. That's going to take a long time. Let's do some cross cancelling on the left. Um, so I know that 4 is going to go into 44, isn't it? I think 4 will go into 176. See, 4 into 44 goes 11 times, doesn't it? 4 into 17 goes 4 times. What's the remainder? Remainder? 1. 4 into 16 goes 4 times. So on the left I have 44. I'm just going to write out to make it neat. 44 over 1 times 7 over 11, right? And that's equal to 1r, right? Equals r. Sorry, that should be put down here, shouldn't it, to make it not, not neater. 1r or r, right? Um, can I cross cancel again? 11 into 11 goes once, 11 into 44 goes 4 times. So 4 times 7 is 28. So you have 28 equals r. So the radius of the circle is 28 meters 28 meters right